happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Jeff Blankenberg, and as we do every Wednesday, we fix my camera. What happened? Hmm. We're just a little low. There we go. Um, so, welcome to the show. We are here, uh, like we are three or four days a week, building stuff for Alexa. And so, I have a bunch of stuff to talk about before we really get started today. Um, where should I start? Um, well, first, let's talk about let's talk about this. See if I can even get this on camera. I got this sweet shirt today, or a couple days ago. Um, this is from the Live Coders. Um, oh my gosh, Karthik, already a, a raid. Thank you so much. Um, this is like an e-gamer shirt. Um, and this is a super, like, it's like a nice nylon, like an athletic material. Um, and it says the Live Coders. It's got my number and my, not my phone number, but like a, like a player number and my name on the back. So it's got my Twitch handle. What's going on right there? Oof. Um, and uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because the Live Coders Conference is coming up on Saturday, which I'm speaking at. So if you guys aren't already uh, aware of what's going on there, you can go to livecoders.dev, and right here at the top, there's a link to the conference. Uh, so I'll take a link for this. Uh, I should probably open up a Twitch window. That'd be a good idea. This isn't what I want. Twitch. That's a good page. Um, but if you guys, uh, if you guys haven't heard about this, this is this is coming up here really soon. Uh, it is on Saturday, and it starts pretty early. I think Eastern time. I think it starts at like 7 a.m. Eastern, something like that. Good morning, locked in. Good morning, W. Giorgio. Kevin Evans. Karthik is here. Man, it's a it's a good party already today. Um, so let me send that link, uh, and you guys can check that out. Now, this isn't all Alexa stuff, obviously, but this is a bunch of cool people that are doing stuff on Twitch. So they're all part of this this Live Coders team, um, and they're going to be doing a whole bunch of interesting things um, in short sessions. I think they're like they're like 25 minute sessions. So I'm going to do um, building your first Alexa skill in 25 minutes, uh, and so I'm going to go through the entire process. It'll all be in the Dev Console, just because that's easier to explain and have people um, get through. But uh, I'm going to do the whole thing in the dev console, and we're going to build out a simple Hello World skill for the most part. But I want to show people all the pieces and explain exactly what's going on. And i got to figure out how that lamp is changing. I don't, I don't know how it's changing. I don't see any commands. Um, but it could be that people are watching on... Maybe it's that people are watching on the Amazon Alexa channel, and they're commenting there. I wonder if that's happening. I've never, I've never bothered to look at that. If I go to Twitch... Uh, Amazon Alexa. I, I would bet I'm being hosted there. So I'll just go to this and uh, if I go to chat and I pause the video. Maybe people are watching here and that's, w that's what I don't realize. If you guys are watching on the Amazon Alexa channel, uh, I don't see your chats or anything like that. So please, come on over to my channel. I think you can do it just by clicking on my name uh, like right here. And uh, it'll flip you over to my channel, and then uh, then I can actually see your chat messages. So somebody just changed the lamp, and that's super cool. But I I did not uh, I did not see the message. I don't know that you're here. So anyway, that's what's going on with that. And you also won't see the the chat messages coming from me or from the chat bot. I don't think. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll see about that. So <clears throat> as I mentioned in my tweet recently, uh, I just posted this a moment ago. Uh, there you go, W. Giorgio, changing the lamp white. Uh, I just posted this a moment ago, but this was, uh, today we're going to try and put the final, for now, touches on the Alexa Dev Tips skill and try to publish it. So um, this is what I'm hoping to do today, and um, there's a lot to do to get there, uh, unfortunately, because we have a number of to-do items that are still outstanding, and we need to get all of the English models into a good state. So let me blow this up a little bit. Um, so we'll come in and look at this. But what I really want to look at is this. I have, if we just go to the search, I think I still have it up here. Nope, T-O-D-O. -O. Uh, you can see that I have 22 results in 13 files. So there's still, we're, we may not finish today because I want to clear out all of my to-dos. And one of the things that I think I'm gonna start with is adding the latest news feature. This is something that has completely slipped my radar until now because I was so focused on some of the other uh, cool functionality. This is actually a pretty simple thing 
Um, but it's something that we should actually build. So if we look at our NUS model, um, I'll blow that up one size for you, just so it's a little more readable. Uh, let's go find the latest news or get news intent. See, I also have like a timer intent. We're not doing anything with that. I'm going to take this stuff out. Feature switch. This was something I was thinking about for like being able to turn features on and off. Um, but I don't think I'm actually going to use that. There's the APL template intent. But this is the get news one, right? Give me the news. What's the latest? Um, tell me the headlines, that kind of stuff. And so um, this is this get news intent is something that I need to build here pretty quickly, and this will be easy. It's not uh, it's not very difficult. But then we need to go through and review all of our intents to make sure that we don't have anything in there that shouldn't be. Because if you have an intent but you don't handle it, uh, that won't get through certification. So my first step is this is called get news intent. I alphabetized all these a little while ago, so I'm going to come in here to find something that's close to G, and like that. And we'll just drop this right in here. We're going to have a get, get, no, get news intent handler. And this is going to be get news intent. And then this is going to be handlers.get news intent, like so. OK, that structure is built. We are now trying to handle it, but of course, um, I'm going to put this nearer the top. I think this will be a more popular one. Uh, that is that. Uh, so now we just need to build those pieces. So let's let's leave a uh, view right here just so we can see it. And then we're going to go over our files. And uh, I'm ho oh, we got a question here. I'm hoping to put a proposal to my job to start integrating voice, and I was hoping to get some feedback on some good points I should cover from you, Jeff Blankenberg. May I send you an email? Of course you can send me an email. If you guys want to send me work emails, like things that I should be helping you with because of my job, um, let me give you that. It is J-E-F-F-B-L A-N at Amazon.com. Uh, if you're sending me personal stuff, or like I know some people are working on some betas and they want to invite me to those things, that is Amazon at JeffBlankenberg.com. So uh, pick your poison, but um, if it's work-related, send it to my work stuff. That way I'll make sure to get it. And if it's not, then uh, if you just want to reach out and say, hey, that's, uh, that's my personal email. So either way, uh, you're good to go. Okay, uh, back to here. So we have our get news. Uh, I need the handler. Um, index. Now let's do it the other way. We're gonna need get news. Which we, which one's this gonna be like? What will this be like? Um, it's gonna be like. Uh, we'll we'll call it like speech content. I think it's much simpler than this. Now let's just use launch request because this is like the base simple model. Um, and I added some complexity to it. I'll show you guys that here in a second. But let me let me save this as the get news intent.js and then we got to change a few things so this needs to be get news intent come on and that does too and this needs to be get news intent i think is what i do is that what i do Speech con intent. Yeah, I put the word intent in there. Okay, so that's the get news intent down here at the bottom. I need to make sure I export the right function. So that's good. Uh, all of that's fine for now. And then in here, we're going to do an index and we're going to do a uh, right after the C const get news intent equals re oh, require. I typed on a different keyboard most of this week, and now my hands have forgotten how things work. Okay, and then we need to put it down here. And that should do it. So if I come all the way back to my index, now I should see, if I do get news intent, yeah, see it's taking a handler input, it re returns a promise, that's all perfect. So get news intent, we need to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Do I need session attributes? Probably not. Do I need any of this um, stuff. Let me well. Let me explain that too, because I think that's a that's a useful little tidbit. So let me go back to my launch request handler, which I've closed. Um, this is something else that I've added uh, since we last coded on Monday. This little bit right here. So uh, you guys will recall that in our database we have a whole bunch of speech content. 
And one of the things that's really bugged me is that if I look at my action queries, which are near the top here, um, a lot of my action queries say things like, what would you like to do next? Or what would you like to try? Or what should we do now? Um, the problem with statements like now or next are that there's, an, a, there's a built-in assumption that you've already done something. And that, that isn't true, and it always bothers me for that first time user experience, if I just randomly grab one of these and I say, welcome to Dev Tips, what would you like to do next? One, it doesn't really give them any clear indication of what they're supposed to be doing while they're in the skill. But two, um, it kind of assumes they've been here before, right? There's, there's no help. And so what I did is I created action query first and welcome first, two new uh, speech types. And action query first are built to not have any assumptions built into them. So what can I help you with? What would you like to know? Uh, and I'll probably come up with a few more. And then if we look at the, the welcome firsts, these are much longer. And these are done only the first time that you come to the skill. So this one, hello, Alexa developer. Welcome to Dev Tips. In this skill, you can ask about development topics to get more information. You can listen to speech cons or play sound effects. There's also loads of achievements to unlock throughout. So that is one of them. The other one is welcome to Alexa Dev Tips. Um, this skill is a resource for skill developers to learn about new things or as a reference guide for hearing things like speech cons and sound effects. And then it'll ask one of those questions like, what would you like to know? So um, the way that the skill is built is for you to be able to say like, give me something new or teach me something or whatever. Um, and it will just randomly pick something you haven't heard before. So that prompts that stuff pretty well, but it also gives you some background on what you can ask for. And um, I feel like I need to include everything in each one of these because I'm, you're only ever gonna hear one of these first, but it also makes me feel like maybe my other welcomes, a few of them, should have some of that information also, just as a reminder. So um, that's all stuff to consider, but I feel like uh, for now I have enough, right? I can always add more and I don't have to do anything to my code. So that's, that's the beauty of all this. So what I did here is I have this, uh, these two variables, welcome speech type and action speech type, and they're set to welcome and action query, which is what they should be. But I have this new session attribute that I create when I know that this is your first time here and I just set it to is first time equals true. That's the only time you're ever even gonna have this property. Uh, all other times this will return undefined, which is also fine. Um, and it just tacks on the word first to those speech types, and then I will grab the appropriate speech type otherwise. So this is what my launch request looks like now. Um, and this gives me the ability to either prompt you the first time you're here, or prompt you every other time that you use the skill. Now I could use this for other things, um, because it is a session attribute and it'll be true the entire first session that you use it. But once you quit the skill and you come back, this will no longer exist, it will not be assigned. And the place that I do this is actually in the get user record function. This is what we call when you come into the, the um, skill. And what we do right here is we say, if you didn't have a record in the database, so I don't have a user record for you at all, then I'm gonna mark this as your first time in my session attributes. And I know W. Giorgio, I think it was you who was um, mentioning that some, you feel like you need to call set session attributes all the time. What I found was because I'm using a bunch of separate files now instead of keeping it all in one file, is that I had to call set session attributes here for this to actually be saved. Um, I was just using the first line, the session attributes that dot is first name equals true and it was not actually going through. It was not being saved, it was not happening. Um, I actually had to call the set session attributes function. And so it feels like if I'm working in the, in the core index.js, I don't have that experience. But if I'm in the same file all the time, I don't need it. That's kind of the behavior that I was seeing. I don't know that that's necessarily true. There's nothing wrong with setting it all the time, but I don't like adding that extra code every single time if I don't have to. So um, that was something that I discovered as I was going through this. I thought, why isn't, it, why isn't that coming through? And it seemed like by setting the session attributes, that did the trick for me. So um, just a, a little piece of information. Um, oh, man. Uh, do, you, do you guys think that I should uh, click on that link and go add some viewers? Do you think that that'll work out for me? I'm looking to be famous. Not like super famous. I don't want to be like celebrity famous. I just want to be like well-known. I don't even really care about that. Uh, I just want to do cool stuff. And if I can share that with you guys, that's even better. Mm. Okay. 
So that's my whole how do I know they're here the first time bit. Now let's get into the um, let's get into the meat of this get news intent. Um, so what I want to do is I need I have a table called news which makes sense and I'm gonna have a headline and a body and an expiration date. I probably want more than that. Let's let's also add a um, link. And do I do I need like a pre I probably don't need a prefix for that. I probably don't even really need the link, but I feel like if I'm gonna write cards for this stuff, I might want the link. And I'll probably want a link prefix also. I'll just put these in here. I don't know if I'll actually use them, but I'm gonna put them in. I can always remove them later. Uh, there's my link prefix. So now I have all of these things. And as I'm getting my data, there's two pieces that I need to check. I need to make sure expiration date isn't in the past. Um, I also probably should have a published date so that they can load the data in here without worrying about it going live. So we should also have a published date. And that will be um, the date that it should start being in circulation. So that you can put things in here that are um, for the future, like over a weekend or whatever, it can go live and you don't have to go do it manually. That would also make life very easy. So I'm gonna choose the friendly. I'm gonna include a time field. Um, use the same time for everything and save. Okay, so I have a published date and an expiration date. So this allows me, this gives me the flexibility in my queries to be able to say I only want, um, I only want news that falls within this range. And so we have headline body. We'll just say this is headline one. This is body one. Uh, link prefix one. Link one. We'll just we're just filling this stuff in, and we'll say our published date for this one is yesterday. So this one should show up. The expiration date should be I don't know Friday. Um, then we'll do it again. This is headline two. This is body to link prefix to link to. Um, we'll make this one not published yet. So we'll say it goes live on Friday and we'll say its expiration date is Saturday. So that one should not show up uh, right now. We should also have, this is, I just wanna have um, headline three. This is body three, link prefix three link three. Um, this one is also live right now. So we'll say the 16th through the 19th and it's disabled. So it should also not show up. And then we'll do one more. This is headline four. This is body four. Link prefix four. Goodness, link four. Uh, this one I'm gonna do so it's already expired. So it came on the first and it expired yesterday or the 15th, we'll say. Okay, so I have, I think I have all my cases set up here. I have, this one is live right now. I have, this one is not yet live. It, uh, it's coming soon. I have one that's disabled even though it's live right now and I have one that has already expired. So in this case, the only one that I should see when I do my queries should be, this is headline one. If I get anything more than that, my query's broken. That's a pretty reasonable way to think about this, I think. So um, that is my table. That's the information that I have. Now I need to come back to my code and think about how I'm gonna actually do this. So I need I'm gonna to have to have an Airtable get uh, get news. So we'll say get um, get leaderboard is probably a good example. So we'll say this save as. We'll call this get news. Good morning, LJ. How are you? Hope all is well. Greg Levenhagen, thank you for being here. By the way, uh, I saw your link and laughed, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually say hi. Um, get news. So we're going to call this get news and 
we'll just uh, get this to all the places it needs to be, and then we'll worry about our query in a moment. Um, so that's fine, and then I need uh, on this index a get news, which comes after L. Const get news equals require get news, and then I need a get news down here, like so. Beautiful. Okay, so again, if I come back to the get news intent, I should be able to say, um, if I look at Airtable here, there should be a get news function in there. It didn't show me it, but let's uh, let's just do a const news equals await Airtable dot get news. And a record ID. I don't want to pass in a record ID. What are we What are we doing? I want. Uh, I just thought of something else that I would need to do. So I'm going to have to pass in. Do I want to pass the whole handler input or just the locale? That's the thing that I missed in here is that we need a locale because there would be international news too, right? Um, that might only apply to specific geographies. That would be a good thing to have. So we'll do link to another record and we'll choose locale. Multiple records is fine. And that should work. So now we have a new case I'm going to, I want to try. These are all going to be en-us. So we'll do that for these four. And then this is going to be headline five. This is headline five. Yeah, you do, LJ. Take one right now. This is body five. Go outside. Get yourself a nice shiny in the sun picture. Link prefix. I don't even know if it's nice out today, but maybe it is. Link five. And then this is going to be available right now, so we'll do a 16th through the 19th. Okay. Whoa, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so let's come back to news. And I have my five records. Uh, I keep doing that for some dumb reason. And what I want to do here is say um, ENAU. So we'll say that this is a different locale. So this way I can make sure that I'm also pulling from the appropriate locale. Why are my finger swipes not doing what I want them to do? Okay, so there is all of our good conditions. So now we need to think deeply about what our query is gonna look like and what do we wanna pass in here. I think the only thing that I need is locale. So I think I'm just gonna pass locale because then I can do get news locale like so, this can all go away. And then we'll have to do some stuff with speak output and that kind of stuff. But that's, uh, you know what, I'll, yeah, shoot. Do, do, do. Let's do this. Get news. This is just going to be locale. And then get random speech from the action speech type. This is going to be action. with a locale. And this doesn't need a comma, I don't think, and this can go away, and this is gonna become news. And then for now, we'll just do speak const speak output equals news. Just for fun, I'm sure we will tweak that up. So in my get news function, uh, we're in the data. We want to look at the news table. My, there's my API key. That's great. And then I have like a sort order here. I don't want this. I don't want any of that. So this is where we need to get fancy. Because we've got a lot of conditions. So I'm going to do this and the parentheses. Because I know what, not that, this. Um, and then all of my conditions are going to be in here. So let's look at uh, what we've got. So if we get um, get random sound effect, I think this one has a locale in here. Is Okay, so here's my is disabled is false. We're going to need that for sure. So we'll take an is disabled is false. We also need to make sure 
um, and these are things that I've never done before, so we'll have to learn, is how do we get between the dates? I think there's a way to do that. And then I also need, what, what else do I need? I need to make sure that I'm not disabled, that I'm in the right locale. So let's look at locale next. Get random speech has a locale for sure. And find locale in the locale box. So we'll add that as a condition. So now it's not disabled. And locale is in the locale field. And um, then I need to do the two dates. And then, and then we should have all the news we want. So is disabled and locale are good. Okay. And then um, I don't know how I want to sort these. I should probably sort them by publish date reverse. What do you guys think about that? I have, I'm going to have a bunch of news. News is probably going to live on for a week or 10 days or maybe two weeks. Um, so each time you ask for the news, I feel like I should give you the newest stuff first, right? And sort it by, I'm only going to give you things that haven't expired. But I should sort them in reverse order so that the oldest news comes last. Because you you've probably already heard it, but it's just still live. What do you guys think about that? Or should I sort it by publish date? so that the oldest news comes first and then the newer things will be later in the in the broadcast or whatever we want to call it. I'm going to wait for you on an answer for that, but in the meantime, I'm going to filter out publish date and expiration date. So for this, there is a great Airtable code pen. Code pen. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So there's some things that I can do here. I'm going to use this formula piece, but this lets me like build out a URL, so sometimes it's nice to be able to see that. Um, but this formula field reference is really what I need, and so let's see if there's some date and time functions. Is there like a before and after? Because that would be... Is after... Oh, look at this. Okay, so is after, and then I have date one and date two, and uh, I want to see if date one is later than date two. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're going to just dump it in like that. And we're going to say is after, and we want to know if our expiration date. Is that what I called it, expiration date? Let's go look at our table. Man, I have a lot of tabs open. Uh, expiration date is what I called it. And then I'm sure there's like a, there's a now. Is there a now? today now okay so we're gonna do now uh, so if we come over here this expiration date and then this is gonna be now and that's great and then I'm gonna take I'm guessing there's an is before let's see I have two parentheses that I need to take right like that copy Let's make sure there's an is before, just to make sure I'm not screwing anything up. Is before determines if date one is earlier than date two. Great. So we're going to do copy, comma, like that. Oh, not two commas. And then we're going to do is before. And this one's going to be published. Did I call it published date? I don't like that. Publication date, publication date, expiration date. Yes, save. Publication date. Okay, so this is going to be publication date and now. Wow, would that be amazing if it just worked? Um, oh, yeah, totally, Javi Giorgio. I'd be happy to show you that. So I have my get news. This should bring back just the one record. There's like a 98% chance I made a mistake here. So I'm just going to do this because um, then I can fix it on the first go rather than like, oh, it didn't work, and then I have to add this. Full path. URL. Now, I'm not going to show you the results of this because it has my Airtable keys and all that stuff written out. So let's just save that for now. Uh, I'm going to answer W. Giorgio's question first, and then we're going to get into the slot stuff. So I'll use answer as my example. 
Um, there's a couple of requirements to be able to do this. Boy, it's like it totally forgot that I can scroll these pages. I'm going to refresh this. Maybe there's just too much data. I don't know what the issue is, but we're going to try refreshing and see if that doesn't solve our problem. Let's go to the answer table. Scroll. No, it just doesn't want to let me scroll today. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of requirements that um, my approach takes. The first is, is that you have a name column. This is the, the name of the slot that you want. You don't, it doesn't have to be the first column. There just has to be a column called name that has the, the slot values that you want. You don't have to have this, but it's useful, is to have a synonyms column. And this is what will fill in all of your synonyms for you in the slot thing. And then if we come out here to my Alexa slot values, I can, I'll just drop this in here for you. Um, you'll also need, uh, no, you don't need a column called record ID because I grabbed the actual record ID itself. But this right here, if I just take all of that and drop it in to the chat, I'll even tag you, WGRDO. Um, that is the syntax that I use. Now, if we look at that syntax, what you can see is that I have ID, like I have the, bra the opening bracket, and then I have ID, and then I have the record ID in there so that I have some unique identifier to look up when I receive this as a slot. Then I have the name and the value um, JSON there, and then I insert my name column, and then I insert the JSON for synonyms, and then in there, uh, what I do is I say, if the length of synonyms is greater than zero, then do this thing. And this is where I actually take the collection of synonyms, I break them by commas, so if you look at um, if you look at my actual data, um, I don't know why I can't scroll over anymore. That's very annoying. Uh, you can see that all my values in my slots are separated by commas, and so what it uses is those commas as a delimiter, um, and then separates each one of them and inserts quotation marks around them and a, a trailing comma. So that gets you everything that you need. So. That's, uh, that's how I do it. W. Giorgio, let me know if that doesn't solve your problem. But as you can see in there, you will definitely need a column called synonyms, and you will definitely need a column called name with leading capital letters. Uh, and then it should just work for you. So it's, uh, it took me a little while to figure that out, but I'm happy to share it. OK, so things I haven't done. I don't have debugging started, so let's do that. once we have this, we can go over to the dev console and update our endpoint. So I'm in the right skill, but not in the right uh, locale. We're going to come out here to, come on, go out here to the endpoint. I, I uh, pushed everything out here this morning, so i got to fix this again. Drop this in here. Hit save. Go to test. And now we should be able to say, open the skill. And it should work over here. And it does. Hello. What would you like to try? OK. So man, I feel like we're good. I'm going to say um, news. Jeff, you broke something. What would you like to know? Okay, I'm going to jump over to this view just for a second because I know that I'm writing out my API keys and I would like to avoid doing that. The first thing that I find is that I have an error. Get news intent, get news. I had a typo. Nobody, nobody saw that? I had a typo in calling get news. That is fixed. Um, so let's try it again. I know you can't see this and I apologize. Um, object, 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 object. Object, object. Cool. What should we do now? That seems like it brought back one, two, three, five records. That's not what I want. So let's take a look at um, get news because what we don't what we don't want to do is actually return the records, but it does look like it worked. So my query on its first writing does seem to have worked. I'm going to check one thing here just to make sure that I haven't screwed anything up. I'm bringing all the records back. Why am I bringing all the records back? 
that doesn't seem to make any sense to me. Um, okay, let me let me get the get that full path off of there, so that we can take it. Well, no, I'm probably going to need it. Why? How could I possibly bring back all five records? Okay, so what, I, what I'm looking at here is if I do a formula and I say like, and, and then I say is, hmm, hold on, I'm trying to be cautious. Put like an is before in there. Doesn't like the commas, so I need to have instead percent two C. So I'll, I'll, I promise I'll make this better in just a moment. So let's get rid of my commas and see if that doesn't fix it. Is before, is after. And that while I'm here, I'm just gonna. this URL again. What? I promise I will uh, explain everything in just a minute. Okay, so I had that, and what I need now is this to be percent to C, and this to be percent to C, still came back with five records. I think what I need is the uh, false part. I need it to come back as, it doesn't, all right, actually maybe it doesn't equal zero. What did it say that it comes back with? Returns one if yes, zero if no. So I want those to equal one, I think. Hmm. Is after equals one, and that's percent three D one. Okay. Um, so in my link, I want that to be expiration date now and stop I think we're almost there I didn't solve anything Six sixteen is the publication date. This is very interesting. I know you guys can't see this, but um, Understand. This is kind of odd. Um, I'm, why would I get all five records back? I mean, at least with look. Let's okay. Let's back it up. Let's try just taking uh, W. Georgia. I like questions. No problem, man. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Getting all five records, even though one of them.
This is crazy. This is crazy. Is this... What? If I look at my news... Um, what time is now returning? That's a great question. I don't know that that's going to be my issue. But it would be good to know what now equals. I just don't think the time zone would matter that much. Um, because my dates were like days away. Let's, let's make that a solved problem. So I'm going to come over here and let you guys actually see something. Uh, I'm going to set my publication dates that should be live to like June 1st and June 19th will be my expiration date. This one shouldn't be live yet, so we'll start with June 19th and we'll say it's the 22nd. This should be June 1st, just to make sure that uh, everything's working here. And then this one should be June 1st, because I want it to be live. So that seems okay to me. But I, I just changed my query. Like I literally just tweaked it so that it's only is disabled which should not bring me back number three. And even that is bringing back all five records. So I, I can't keep doing this to you guys, but I gotta, gotta protect some data. Is disabled. And if I put an equal sign in here, it's percent 3D. So when I look at my query, percent 3D equals false. And if I look at the formula field for is dis no, um, what could possibly Okay, so even even the is disabled false is not working. Why? Let's let's find a and b. Yeah, it's just and. This is annoying, so annoying. Um, let's take this one. I mean, I'm feeling like maybe there's just a typo or something that I've screwed up. But. This is the craziest thing that I've ever seen in my whole life. How can you bring me back all of the records when I very clearly am filtering? Um, all right, so let's go back to this. Oh, and I just did it. See, I'm not being careful. Okay, so this is very perplexing. I want to answer W. Giorgio's question um, before I keep moving on this. It'll let my brain stew on this a little bit. 
Um, so my powers game skill, when I ask for the user to give me their name, it will error out if they say my name is Larry too fast. I get the value is Larry as the name in my database, but the skill won't continue. My sample, one of them is my name is name. Why would it pick up is as part of the slot type? Um, do you also have one that's like my names, like name apostrophe S? Um, this is this is one of the tricks of voice, though, is that like you're getting real feedback now. You're getting real users to use your stuff. Um, uh, my thought is if you also have the contraction, maybe remove that. It's probably hearing my names. Um, or my name. Yeah, I, I don't know that you need both. I would probably lose the um, contraction version and see if that doesn't help you. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how else I would help you solve that. Like I, I tend to avoid the first name intense stuff because it's so unreliable. Um, the, the first name slot is so broad. I like to say it has a lot of gravity and it pulls in a lot of things that I feel like it shouldn't because it does just so much variety inside that slot. Um, so don't, don't overdo it on your utterances. My name is, and the thing probably will help, uh, my names, my name apostrophe S, uh, and the thing I think is maybe what's causing your confusion, but that's, that's like an 80%, there's like a 20% guess in there is what I'm saying. Okay. If I go to something that's working, let's go look at something that's working, like get random speech. Um, is there, am I missing something about the, ah, this is the piece that I was missing. That's just me thinking I know better than I do. Okay. Filter by formula equals that. Now we should be good. And this, these now still need the, uh, goodness, Jeff, you're just, you're just trying to ruin it for everybody. Okay. This needs to be the 3d1 percent 3d1 and now if we come to this these go here 3d1 3d1 save we're not even going to log the full path i think we're just going to feel good about it and then we're going to come run the skill and we're going to say give me the news What would you like to try? That's not ideal either. What did we, uh, what did we do? Does that mean no records came back? All right, we're, we're back at it. We're going to have to do, um, what I don't like to do, which is go back on camera and see a full path. Um, it's the one real big downside for me to working live is that I have to try and hide. What would you like to try? Hide keys. And I do a terrible job of it. Terrible job. My security model is, I hope these people are nice. Okay. Is disabled is false. Locale equals that. Let me, if I just take this off. What do we get? That gets me four, two, and one. So I want is not not disabled and is the right locale. So that part's working. So it's my date stuff that's the issue. And if I put it back, is after, oh, I put it in the wrong place. That brings me back, okay, so this was a simple typo. Let's get rid of the thing that I don't want on the screen. <sighs> Good 
good stuff. And now if I do news, object, object, object. object. What would you like to try? Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. So, uh, I was supposed to comment that out. Let's do it one more time. Object, object. Okay. What should we do now? So we are good in that regard. We can come back to looking at things. And what we're going to see now is that um, we're getting this object, object. So what's happening is I'm going out. My query is working as expected. Now, I'm only getting record one. And we're just returning the records that we get. But this isn't actually what we want to do. So we're going to create another function in here. Um, function create news speech. Um, and we're going to call it records. And um, we'll do let news speech equal nothing. And then at the end, we'll return news speech. And then we're going to iterate through here. So um, for var i equals 0, i is less than or equal to records dot length i plus plus, like that. And then we're going to do some stuff where we basically create our news. OK. so. That's good. So what I now want to do is say return create news speech r dot records. And for each of these news speech I think I want to use a sound effect for this plus equals and we're going to say records i dot fields dot headline. We'll just get this working first. New speech plus equals. Let's do it this way. Um, and then we'll do another one, but this time it's going to be body. <laughs> I feel like I can't actually do this here. I'll explain why in a minute, but I don't, I don't think I can actually do this here. This should just be a get news function. Yeah. Save that. This is going to be just return r.records and then get news intent. This is where I'm going to do in my helper. I guess I'll do it in the helper. This is kind of dependent on things, but I think it's okay. Function get news speech records. Function create new speech. So this all still should work, but now I'm calling it here. So we're going to say helper dot get news speech. No. Create news speech. We're going to pass in the news records that we got. And in order to do the helper, I need to export that function down here somewhere. Get, create, create goes here. Create new speech. Okay, so we still have more work to do in that function, but at least we've got this in the right place. That way I can get the news anytime and I don't I can use create new speech separately, and we're just gonna do headline and body, and I feel like um, one of the things that we should probably do for the news use newscaster voice for Alexa skill. Isn't there a way to do that? 
Nope, that's not the thing I want. Um, create engaging. Oh, the new text-to-speech and newscaster style is not available for Alexa skills. Well, never mind. Um, it's just that... Oh, now it says this that I can. How do I do it? The fact that I'm not finding like our tech docs and stuff makes me think that this isn't possible. I think it's just maybe for the first party Alexa stuff. Let's try it. I mean, why not, right? And then if you're in a voice that can sample it, we'll use it. So that can go right here. And then I'm assuming that I just close it with an Amazon domain. Okay. Like so. And then I also feel like if I go to the sound effects list, oh, I have it open, good. Um, is there like a news? Mm, ding. What I want is a, um, Just a little simple, quick noise. That's too. That's too belly. Boing, buzz, clock, beep. No. Definitely no. Tone. Too long. Too long. What's this cartoon beep? No, so they're so jarringly loud. Why? Why? What else could I use for a sound effect? What I basically want to do is delimit that, like, hey, this is the beginning of a new thing. Ding didn't get me anything, right? It just got me guns. Um, what other categories do I have? I don't want like alarms. I just want like back, no, not background. I want like a, something nice and like soothing. It's not super jarring. Human, ice, snow, kids, machines. Magic spells? What do we got for magic spells? No. Military, monsters. Doorbell mate? Yeah, doorbell might work. Um, rocks, room tones. What are room tones? Sounds like a room. Swords. Telephone answering machines. Modern telephones, modern rings. Do you have anything short? No. Toys, games, turns. What's various? Is it literally just various? Vehicles. Voices, water, weather, wood. What about like a wood hit? Like a cheap? No. This is a tough one. I don't I don't know what sound I'm really looking for, but I know it's not the ones I found so far. 
Um, beeps and boops. It's got to be really short. No, there's like too much white noise in that one. Buzz, electronic beep. Electronic beep two. Ooh. Kind of like that one. Um, sirens, test tone, timer. No, I think we'll we'll at least use electronic beat two for right now. Uh, again, it's a beauty. We can always swap it out. So we're gonna say right here. We're gonna drop that. Okay, and then I have the headline of the body. So what should happen is it should say, Bing. Here's your news. Here's your body of your news. Bing. Here's your news. Here's your body of your news. And we should be able to go through that over and over and over um, for the records that we have. So we have helper, news speech gets created and returned. Get news intent calls create news speech. You think this will work? Anybody think this will work? I have my action query, I have my news. Uh, I think there's a chance this will work everybody. News. Jeff, <laughs> you broke something. Why? What should I... we do now? I cannot read fields. What am I? What you talking about? Uh, now we need to look at what records looks like. Um, console dot log. Um, Records are okay. Let's see what that gives us, Jeff. You broke something. What should we do now? Stop telling me I broke stuff, I know. Jeff, you broke something. What would you like to try? Records zero dot fields. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe maybe I screwed up my loop. Yeah, this should just be less than length. That was the issue. Okay, how about now? This is headline one. This is body one. What should we do now? Wonderful. Okay, so let's go look to our data, and we're going to change this one from not from disabled to not disabled. Um, and then we're just going to go back and call it again. This is headline one. This is body one. This is headline three. This is body three. What would you like to do next? How great is that? What do you guys think? Um, I don't know that I love that tone, but it's a, it's a place to start. And we have our news. I don't know how long I can get with the news, but that's, that's really nice. Audio response, this is headline one. Audio response, this is headline three. Now, Joanna, I think, was one of the voices. So let's change the voice to Joanna. I, wanna, I actually haven't heard the newscaster voice. Change voice to Joanna. Jeff, you broke something. What should we do now? Well, that's fun. What did I break? Get random speech. Fields doesn't exist. So now when everything's going to start falling apart, get random speech. Line 21. What? 
wit. On the scale, it should be Joanna's voice. Hello. What should we do now? News. This is headline one. This is body one. This is headline three. This is body three. What should we do now? All right. So change voice to Alexa. Jeff, you broke something. What would you like to do next? What am I breaking when I change voice? What could be the issue here? Cannot read property fields of undefined from get random speech on line 21. Why in the world wouldn't we be able to We were on update user poly voice. That's that's probably more the issue. No. There's nothing gotten there. It's definitely get random speech that's the issue. My guess is that I'm passing in from the change voice intent. This is probably the issue. And this is why I keep those little tracking codes in there so I can see where it traveled. Change voice intent. Random voice. Do I actually have that in my table of speech? I, this is my guess: is that there, there's a missing record. Random. Random voice is there. New voice. New voice is there. Action query. Vo oh, maybe it's voice card. Act action query is there. Voice card voice card is not there. Um, did I have voice card in the old table? This is this is maybe just a data migration thing. Voice card. I didn't have a voice card here either. I wonder what I was thinking. because it shouldn't be card because I fixed this so if we go to I think I just didn't fix my code so if we go in here and we look at speech I think there's just like S oh we called it SSML card that's what it is SSML I couldn't believe that it wouldn't just exist Okay, so that's our issue. So now I think we've fixed that bug. So now if we say uh, change voice to Joanna, where did we do that? Change voice to Joanna. We should not get an error. I am now using the voice of Joanna. What would you like to know? Okay. 
I will now use Alexa as my voice. Beautiful. What would you like to do next? And then I can say news. This is headline one. This is body one. This is headline three. This is body three. What should we do now? Okay, I think we've built our news feature, which is good. That took longer than I wanted it to, but we are now able to do the news. And so now I can come into my news table and I probably should get rid of the Australian one just in case. But for the rest of these, headline one, headline two, headline three, headline four, and all I have to do is change this date to the first, and then if I come back here and say give me the news. This is headline two. This is body two. We need to sort them. This is headline one. This is body one. This is headline three. This is body three. So that's the last. What would you like to try? That's the last thing that I need to do here is that I want to think about sorting by publication date descending. I want the newest stuff first. And if I do that, it ends up looking like and sort. Copy that, come into my get news, which is here. And at the very end, I can just slap this on right there. Now, let's look at our actual sort order and what it should be. So we'll make this a little more obvious. I'll make this one May 1st. I'll make this one... Now we'll just do them by days. So we'll make this one June 4th. June 3rd. I want to let's do them in reverse order so that it's easier to tell what's going on. So this one will be the newest. This will be June 10th, June 9th, June 8th, and June 7th. So they were published in reverse order, so it should give me 4321, and they should all come through, I think. Well no, there's one that's expired, right? one piece of news that's expired nope uh, yeah June 15th so we should also not get June 15th we should not get that one so it should be 321 should be the result that we get here so let's try this is headline 3 body 3 this is body 3 this is headline two. 2 this is body 2 this is headline one. This is body one. What would you like to try? Awesome. So I think I think we're good on the news. Um, it's it's working enough. I can always improve it, um, but I think we're set for the news feature. So that's that's exciting. So let's look at what we have left. Add the latest news feature. That is done. One to do item off of our list. Uh, if I go over here and I type in to do and we search, we end up with 22 results. So these are the index ones that I can see right there. I don't care about those right now. What is this one? If the user is being created, I'm doing that already. We fixed that. That one's done. We're going to clear some to do's here. If this is a user's first time, give them more background information on what is possible. We are also doing what is possible. We're doing that. Okay. Answer in 10. What do we do if they've heard all the things? This is a concern of mine, but I don't have an answer for it yet. If somehow, what is our conditions here? If If they resolved a word, then go, if the resolved word is just one. If there's multiple resolved words, great. And if, this is still another case that I need to think about is, how do I get, how do I know the difference between no answers and 
they've heard all the answers. Okay, I think we're gonna have to leave that one in there for right now. Show a list of APL templates. Haven't done that yet either. If this is the user's first time, this is something that was just copied and pasted in, so that's fine. Gone. Launch request, if this is the user's first time. That's good that we're getting rid of all these. Feeling good, I feel like I'm making some progress. Don't talk about values that are null. Yeah, those are both big deals that are fine to go live without. Get everything we have access to. This is the other thing. What if they say, what is my personal data? Um, my thought was is that I was going to get all of this stuff, but that might be a lot. Uh, I think what we'll do for now, and I'm going to leave the to-do in there, is um, speak output equals but I can't put text in here. What I really want to say is um, you can ask me for things like your phone number, email address, physical address, or even like something fancy, your time zone. Your time zone. Cut that out, create a new record over here that is, um, gosh, what do I even want to call that? Um, pro profile data, do we have any other profile things? Profile, profile, profile time zone, profile, um, specify. Profile specify is what I'm going to call it. So over here, we're going to say speak output equals wait get no air table dot get random speech handler input. Nope, that's not what I want. I want um, profile specify and locale. Okay. I can leave those to-dos in there. Um, but that gives me personal info intent. I think that's all four of those. Speech con intent. When I say, say torpedo, it breaks no idea why. Let's see if that's still true. Say tor torpedo. You used the speech con intent. I heard you say torpedo, but that isn't a speech con for the ENUS locale. Here's a random one instead. Cheer up! What would you like to do next? Okay, well, I don't know why that was breaking the other day, but we can get rid of this. That is working as expected. Um, answer intent. These are files I don't need. Great. So I think we've cleared most of them. I still want to write cards, but that's something that can come later. Like we don't need to publish with that. Update all Airtable queries. That's something I still need to do. What do we do if they've heard all the things? I mean, at least we're responding. Because uh, that's a yet a new unique case. Um, but at least we're covered. Don't talk about values that are null. I don't, I don't think that's true. I think I'm going to keep the values that are null, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, so I feel good. We're at, we're at 11.20. We've gotten through all of our code. I think we're ready to try to publish. So I have already gone through and updated all of my slots um, for things like answer and for voice 
and for sound effects and for speech cons. So I feel like at least for ENUS, we're probably good. Um, what do you guys think? Should, I mean, I have all the locales covered. Should I, at least I think I have them covered. I feel like I'm better off trying to go publish the English US one only. Let's make sure that that is good. And then it's a matter of just making some minor tweaks um, to get the other locales published. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to take, and this is where things get a little weird because I have a different developer account where this skill actually lives. So what we're going to do is let's, let's jump over there real quick. So we're going to come over here. We're going to choose maybe, maybe if anything would respond here, that'd be super cool. Um, Am I still broadcasting? You guys haven't talked in a while. I don't know if I'm even on. Uh, let's see. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Change user to Amazon Alexa devs. Okay, glad you're here, W. Georgia. And I have this dev tip skill that's already here. So I'm going to edit this. This is the live published current version of dev tips as it stands today. And the invocation for that is dev tips. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into here, we're going to choose our NUS JSON, and we need to change at the very top this needs to become DevTips. So, if I come into the JSON editor, this and this goodness that's a big file okay 13,000 something records or rows um, now I also want to go through and make sure that I am clearing out a couple of those intents that we're not actually using achievement and help help stop Personal info is a good one. Answer intent's a good one. Change voice intent's a good one. Display template intent. This doesn't exist right now. Hopefully they won't freak out because I don't think they like it when you remove intents. Because uh, obviously this is a skill that has existed over time. We'll get rid of this feature switch. I didn't build this. Um, speech con intent, sound effect intent, and then we're good. So I'm going to save this model. Oh, I just did the thing. model, build model. I have broken the Indian intent, or the Indian model for sure. And then the other thing we need to do is see where this is actually hosted, because I don't actually know. So this is something called Alexa Devs. This might this might be a Lambda function of my own. Let's go see. AWS. So did it puke or break or anything on the build? Still building. Full build successful. Oof. OK. That feels good so far. Sign in. Sign in. Let's 
go to Lambda. Nice, Karthik. Have a good night, man. Oh, you're here to de-stress. My goodness, I feel like this is nothing but stress. Alexa. Devs. Got a few things we're going to have to tweak on this. The first is, do I have environment variables in here? I don't even have environment variables. I need to update my runtime. It's so old. Node 10x, save. Then we need to actions, upload a zip file. So I'm gonna have to zip up my Lambda function. There, I think there is a 12 hour runtime, but um, I didn't see it in the list. No 12. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Karthik. Save. You can create a... You can, well, this is a Lambda function. So, yes, you could create elect, an Alexa skill with anything. Um, as long as you can um, read and send JSON. Yeah, you could do it in any language. Uh, this is just a Lambda function. Lambda functions definitely will run .NET Core. So, yeah, you could definitely write an Alexa skill using .NET Core if you'd like. Okay, so last step is, no, not that way. I want, um, let's take this. Let's go look at where we are. So we're in Alexa Dev Tips Lambda. And this is everything that I need. Should be able to just take it like this and zip it up. A couple of items in there. Actually, I wonder if I go into the ask for. Lambda, there's a build.zip. This is probably a better file to take. So we're going to upload that zip file. Upload a zip file. We're going to choose GitHub. Nope. Alexa Dev Tips. Lambda. you showing me my other directories. That's so annoying. Show me the hidden folders. Okay. One more thing to look at is that I also probably want to do while I'm here is in my terminal I want to do an ask deploy. This should... Um, the reason we're uploading is because I don't have a profile set up on my machine to deploy to this Lambda function uh, on this account. This is a totally separate um, account that was set up just for the dev tips skill. It's an actual like Amazon owned account. And I don't have the profiles or anything to be able to deploy directly to that. So I've been developing on my own and then I'm just copying this stuff over. So that is the answer to that, Karthik. Um, yeah, that, uh, that SDK for .NET, that's built by a buddy of mine, Tim Hewer. Fantastic guy. Uh, worked with him for a long time at Microsoft. And he's worked very hard on that .NET SDK. He's done a great job since we don't natively support it like we do Node and, and uh, Python. Okay, well, I'm just waiting for this to build because then I'm going to take that build zip file that they, they create. Yeah, he really stays on top of it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the work he's done to create that. Okay, so if we come in here and we look at this, 
we have our ask folder, lambda folder. I thought it was called build. Yeah, we're building it right now. Just waiting for that to successfully build, and then I'm going to grab that zip file, move it someplace else where I can actually grab it, and we should be good to go. Come on. Okay, so my version seems to be all the way up to date. This is the file that I want. And we're just going to put it where here. Okay. And then if we try to upload this, we should be able to get it. Build.zip. For files larger than 10 megs, consider uploading to S3. Whatever. We're just going to plow this through here. Uh, and then we should be in a point where we're good to stop. Or I guess we'll spend the rest of the time maybe in the dev portal making sure that we've updated all the data and everything. So in here, if I go to certification... Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, we'll call this June 17th. June. You can see this hasn't been updated in a while. June. 17th, 2020 release notes. Completely overhauled entire skill from top to bottom. Added speech con, sound effect, and sound, and sound effect support. Achievements throughout the skill added persistence to remember what you've done before um, added user management to make um, interactions more meaningful. Skill icons are all great. All that is good. Save and continue. Okay, we're rolling. I did the wrong one again, but it's easy enough to just drop it in all of them. Oh, it looks like it's already there. Yeah, but what's different then?
Well, it looks like I was on the right one. It just puts me on the next one afterward. Okay. Certification. Let's see. What's, uh, what's my S3 bucket doing? Was that successful? Well, that's great. Okay, there's one last thing that I need to do, which is environment variables. And this is going to require me to go off camera for a second, because these are all the secrets for the skill. So let me do this. And we'll get this done real quick, hopefully. Technovangelist, welcome to the show. Uh, how are you? And how is life? Uh, hopefully things are going well for you. Welcome to the, the party that is building skills uh, live on air. I am screwing everything up right now. I'm not showing my screen right now uh, because I am in the middle of um, I'm in the middle of working with some like secret keys and stuff like that, and I don't want to show all that. So we're just taking a quick moment to move these things over to a new Lambda function so that I can have everything working in the right place. Uh, and once those are in there, then we're good and we don't have to worry about it. So I think this one. I'm just, uh, I'm just grabbing all of the um, stuff that I need to make this work. Uh, bass sound effect. Almost done. Almost done. Base speech con. Um, I that could be very possible. What is? Can you tell me your real name? Uh, if you don't mind sharing that. And where, like, where do you work, or how do, how have we met? I'd love to know that. Uh, I love people that I've met in person. On here. Our times at Microsoft didn't overlap. Okay. I feel like this is a guess who game. Uh, who, who could this be? He's a data dog now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We met, um, we met at, um, where were we? Were we like in the Caribbean? What conference did we meet at? Was it, uh, in Virginia? Maybe it was at the Virginia Beach Conference. The, um, forgetting the name of it now. Revolution Conf? Was it that one? I do remember you, man. Good to see you, Matt. Thank you for uh, for being here. Okay, so let's close this. And Rev Revolution. Okay, sweet, sweet. So I feel like my memory isn't awful either. Um, save that. Now let's go. Let's go test this out. We're waiting on validation. This is taking a long time. I need to test this and make sure that it works. So let's go to English US. Open dev tips. What happens? What happens? Hello, Alexa developer. Our first time Welcome message. Welcome to dev tips. <coughs> In this skill, you can ask about development topics to get more information. You can listen to speech cons or play sound effects. There are also loads of achievements to unlock throughout. What can I help you with? That is so exciting. Uh, Mr. Smoothie, is there a way to know when that clock is going dead? I think that um, there's a little light like right here. Um, and I think it blinks when it uh, blinks red, maybe, when the battery's getting low, I think. I also have the Echo wall clock in here, um, and that one does the same thing. The one in my kitchen is acting very odd. The, the hands don't turn at all anymore, but the alarms and like all the lights and everything still work great. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think...
It's still right two times a day. That's totally right, Karthik. Um, all right, they're going to make me go through the hard work. Um, I don't want to go through the hard work. Okay, I guess we're going to do it. This will be how we finish out our last 20 minutes, I guess. Um, so let me make this dev tips temporarily. And I'm going to copy. Well, this is fine. All right, Karthik, take care, man. We're going to um, come down and find our... The thing that is the problem is the speech cons. Need to find those. The speech cons. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop this out. So we're going to go here, and we're going to go all the way down to... Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're going to run out of time so fast now. Um, those are my speech con values. I'm just going to delete those. So this whole thing I'm going to copy. Copy A, copy C. And then I'm going to open up ENIN. Paste. ENGB. Paste. ENCA, paste, ENAU, paste. Okay, all of those files have been replaced now with the model that I have for ENUS, but the thing that is different for each of these is their speech cons. So if we come into our data, which is here, and we go out and we go to the speech cons table first, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter this down for ENAU. So by filtering this list, I now have only speech cons that are available in AU. And so then I can take this, copy it, come over to my ENAU file, go find where that speech cons hole is, what's after sound effects. So it's near the bottom actually, which is pretty handy. Right here. We're just going to dump this. That is the speech cons for AU. This is where Airtable saves me a ton of time. So AU is done. I've got that one fixed. Um, the next one I need to do is GB, copy, GB. So we skip past our voices right here, and it just goes, it goes over answers. Answers, 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 and then I should put speech cons at the bottom just so it makes my life easier. Speech cons is right here. Boom. Remove the comma, save. Uh, next one is CA, so we'll change our filter again. Grab this. Almost there, speech cons goes right here. Lose the comma, save. Next one is IN. That's great that it's working for you, Mr. Smoofy. Um, you're using the old version though. I haven't actually published this, so you shouldn't be, well, I did just change the code though. Huh, who knows, I probably just broke everything. Um, I hadn't considered that. This one is IN, so let's change this to IN. This becomes that. Well, yeah, because I have the same intent names, so it, pr it probably will work fine. Um, I just feel like I probably broke a few things because I don't, mm, I guess I'm supporting the existing intents. That's IN and now, and now ENUS. Get out of my way. Bring the speech cons back for this one. Okay. And then as I move these, I need to also change this name back so that it's not that. So this one I can already change. Great. E-N-I-N, copy, 
we need to come in here, we need to go to ENIN, we need to change our JSON editor. Save that, save and build, save, build. While we're doing that, we'll get the next one, which is GB. Copy. See, it should not be UK. This is why I argue, oh my gosh, you haven't been able to see for a while. This is why I haven't, uh... you guys didn't tell me that I should have brought my screen back. Um... All right, so now we're in ENUK. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be a little broken until you can get the new model, which you can't get until I publish. So this one is save and build in Canada. Save, build. And then finally, the last one is Australia. Copy. This would be a whole lot easier if I was building on my own account. Build model. Okay, so we're waiting for those things to build. We're getting the good news. We're not getting any errors. That's a really good sign that we have some valid JSON and we haven't uh, destroyed anything. I should also, while we wait for these last builds to happen, um, I should mention to all of you that the sound effects table um, the sound effects table Somehow, I originally only came up with a thousand sound effects. It turns out there's over 3,000, 3,018. And so I now have all 3,018 in the database. Um, I don't know how that happened originally, but we are, um, we are very full on sound effects now. So are we done with the full build? Yes. Great. Go to certification. I got to run that evaluator again and make sure that there aren't any errors. run. We have 10 minutes left. Are we going to make it? I don't think we're going to make it. I have so many chime messages too. Messages from uh, folks at work. They've been blowing me up actually as we've been doing this, but I will answer those in 10 minutes. Oh, when you'd say, what is my status? It would give you World Cup soccer games? That's weird and interesting. And probably not ideal. So, Mr. Smoothie, when you say you got the news, you were able to get... My news headlines, this is headline one, this is body one with my sound effects and stuff. That was part of my aspiration in this, is that I wouldn't break how it works today, but I would add a bunch of additional functionality. That's cool. But we need to get the new model in front of people, which I can't do without going through certification. Come on, validator. There's nothing wrong. Everything works perfectly. I know that's not true. It's going to tell me something's broken, but... You guys, I just found this in my office. Do you guys know how much I miss traveling? Um, it's so much. So much I miss traveling. <laughs> All those first class upgrades. and Yeah, I don't know what, what can I do should do. Let's, let's see if I have that in there. Hmm. 
what can I do doesn't even doesn't even have a result. Oh, I need to fix all of these too. We need to go to the top of each one of these and change them back to this. I'm gonna have to find a better way to deploy this or I'm just gonna, if I run into any static um, in the publication process, certification process, uh, I will probably just publish this skill on my own account instead because this is kind of a pain in my ass to, uh, to update the skill. And it really doesn't matter that much where it's published. Come on. The reason we call it Chewbacca Cup is because um, the term dev tips is a conflict, right? I have two skills with that. And the, the published one is, uh, is the first one. Okay. There are code references in, displayed in the title or the content of skills home cards. Okay, so this is US, those are the only issues? That's great. Um, so when I'm playing a sound effect, apparently I'm writing... You've gotta be kidding me. You're not gonna let me do that? Oh, this is gonna be a good battle. So can you guys see the error that I have here? There are code references displayed in the title or the content of the skills home cards. Please re remove any code references from the skills home cards to make your skills content more user friendly. This should not be required. This should be a recommendation. I think that there's a lot of people that probably end up with code code there that shouldn't be, but I purposely want it there. Very interesting. I wonder if I could just put in um, less than and greater than signs, if that would fix it. But this one, I understand that dev tips for something cool might not exist in my model. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. I can, I can do that, copy. And we'll just do, that'll be uh, an answer intent. Thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and manually add that rather than going through the process of copying everything again. So we'll just come in here. Uh, it looks like we might not get certified today because I'm going to fight that fight. So what I want to do is go to the JSON editor. I want to see answer intent, wherever that is. Apogee, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the club. I don't want to save that page. I just want to save the document. Save model. Build model. Okay. So that should get us to a point now where we're passing all of the stuff. And I feel like... The easiest answer, I'm going to do this just for a second. The easiest answer, honestly, is for me to get rid of that code, publish it, and then fix the code. Right? So if I, if I go to here, and I go into my um, get random sound. No, what I really want is... Um, Get random sound effect is where I get the sound effect. But what I want is the sound effect intent. So let's start there. Sound effect intent. This is where I write a card twice, apparently. Um, and I think what we'll just do is this. We'll just take the card out and then 
once it's live, we'll turn it back on because then I won't have to get validated. Dumb rule that I can get around. Okay, so I'm gonna deploy this again so it creates a new build. We'll upload a new build file. Uh, Apogee, where are you from, man? Um, where are you watching from? What, uh, what country, what city? Uh, if you can share that. It's always good to know where folks are from. Uh, is this your first time here? That's another good question to ask. And if, it's, if that's the case, I can introduce you to our chatbot and I can show you some of the cool stuff that it'll do. Um, while we wait for this build to happen, how's things going over here? That looks good. We'll do one more of these test runs just to see what we get. Uh, I, I'm really surprised that it blows up on um, putting code in the cards. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by that. So we're waiting for validation. We're waiting for a build to happen here. Building our skill code, feeling my stomach grumble, so hungry, always hungry by noon. Whew. And then I, yeah, the last two days have been absolutely nuts at work. There's just been so much going on. And I feel like today is pretty reasonable. So maybe I'll even like zip out for lunch. Most days it's run into my office, make a sandwich, find the bathroom and get back in here before the next thing starts. But yeah, maybe I'll duck out, and get something delicious for lunch. Okay, that's coming along. How's this doing? Huh. Which one's gonna win? Probably this one. Which one will win? Something's gonna win here. Also guys, um, Mr. Smoofy, the, the question is where am I located? I am in Columbus, Ohio, um, which is the fine city right in the center of this state. That is where I live. It's hard to tell, I guess, from this backdrop. This doesn't really give any obvious locations away. Um, if you were to scroll a little higher, you would notice that um, on the top shelf, which you can't see, um, I have a bunch of sports pops behind me, and they're almost exclusively Cleveland sports figures. Uh, LeBron James, um, and uh, let's see who else. Francisco Lindor is up there. Baker Mayfield is up there. Um, Brutus Buckeye is up there. So it still didn't like that, and it still didn't like, and now it's found something that too new. What is AWS? It didn't like that one, huh? Because I probably don't have. Did not. So they found the sound effect one this time. That's the one I fixed, I thought. Didn't I fix that? Oh, I haven't uploaded the code. So the sound effect one is still there. For something cool, I thought I fixed that. The Beast. Uh, you know, what's really weird is I live in Ohio. I've lived here my whole life. I have never once been to Kings Island. Uh, and I know that's going to sound terrible, but I was a... Uh, I'm a Cedar Point snob. Like, Cedar Point, if you guys don't know Cedar Point, man, it is quite possibly the best roller coaster park in the world. They always have the coasters that have set records uh, or are currently the record holders for height, speed, all sorts of stuff. And... Uh, it was 45 minutes from where I grew up, so it was always a it was always a Cedar Point trip. And growing up on the west side of Cleveland, like getting down to the Cincinnati Dayton area for Kings Island was kind of far. So Cedar Point was better and it was closer. That's uh, that's why we picked it. Okay, the thing I wanted to do was get my code uploaded. So let's let's do that with the sound effect gone. 
So now if we come into this folder again and we get the lambda and we get the build zip, copy that and bring it out a couple levels. Paste, replace, uh, come to the lambda function. We're gonna choose actions, upload a zip file. And we'll choose this build zip, save. So that'll take a little bit too, um, but I have to wrap up. I have some other meetings and things that I have to get to, but we made some good progress. We added that entire news feature today and we were, were really, really close to certification, but I need to talk with our certification team about that requirement to not show code in the SSML as a requirement. Like it said, it's required before I can pass certification. And that feels like I wanna argue about it. So um, with that, I'm gonna sign off for today. Thank you guys all, as always for tuning in. Um, Apogee, we'll catch you next time, and hopefully uh, we'll get to get some people playing here with the chatbot, which we didn't do a lot of today, um, but lots of cool things. So thank you guys all for tuning in. I'll be here Friday morning, uh, and with that, I'll see you all later.